Hello, welcome back to the Climbing Nomads YouTube channel. In this episode we're going to be looking at the Pongoose Clipstick, um, showing you how it works and then also why for us it's the best clipstick on the market. So to start with, when we first saw these Pongoose Clipsticks from a distance we were like, how, how on earth do they work? And actually, once you get to, to know how to load the quick draw into the head, it's actually really simple. So before you load the quick draw into the head, um, you can actually change the angle of the neck. So it's got an R for rope and a Q for quick draw. So make sure that it's set to quick draw by opening up the twist lock, rotating the neck so that it aligns with Q and that just means that the angle that the head's sitting at is at optimum uh, generally for clipping a bolt and then open up the carabiner and then place the spine against one side and the open gate against the other side. you can see like no matter how much it gets sort of scraped and dragged around on the rock when you're actually trying to clip it it doesn't suddenly open or spring shut the gate so it's it's locked in there pretty well next you just got to decide which way around your rope's got to go and then obviously clipping the bolt itself so if you want to clip the first bolt with the rope in situ with the rope in the drawer to begin with um, clip clip the rope in and then as you extend, just extend the twist lock sections and then lift the rope up as you go, keeping the pole pretty vertical. Stop it bowing too much. So to clip the rope into a quick draw that's already clipped into a bolt, uh, first off, adjust the neck so that it's at the R notch for rope. That just sets the rope at a nice angle so that you can actually clip it in a little bit easier. But next, work out which which strand is the lead end, which strand is going to be the belay end, um, and work out how that's going to go in before you, you load it up. Load up the rope by putting it into the head, so both strands going in there, and make like a nice loop of rope and use the beads to kind of like act as a bit of friction to hold the rope in place. So if you've got a sort of thinner rope or a very new rope, um, then sort of try and splay it open a little bit just to hold the rope in place a little bit better. And the trick here is to actually, as you're pushing the pole upwards, keep both strands held together so that the rope just doesn't slide down. And then at this point here, just pull on one strand of rope. So hold on to one end and then pull the other strand. And finally, the game changer for us um, is the Pongu stick. The Pongu clip stick takes out quick draws actually pretty easily. Make sure the neck is set to R and then load it up like you would load up for clipping the rope into a quick draw. You're aiming to get the two beads sitting about like one third up the spine of the quick draw. And again, pull on one strand of rope. Once you've opened the gate, try and lock the ribs together and then just lift the quick draw out. Rather than clipping quick draws into bolts, clipping the rope into the quick draw or retrieving a quick draw, you can actually alter the head, the neck, right down so you can actually pull the rope through um, when it comes to like a red point attempt. So if you've got your rope all the way up and you actually want to pull the rope through so that it's still on the first or second bolt, um, you can use this as kind of like a hooking mechanism.
It comes in two different sizes. So fully extended, this one comes out at two meters, 85 centimeters, and this one is four meters. So yeah, depending on what your needs are, will obviously dictate which size you might want to go for. So this one's probably great if you want to do a lot of bolt to bolt clipping and laying quick drawers. It's got a handy little, both of them have a handy little hole at the top that you can actually clip. Um, the clip stick to your harness uh, while you're laying the drawers. Another thing to think about if you're going abroad a lot is to maybe go for the smaller stick because it'll fit into luggage a little bit easier. Um, whereas the longer one, much better obviously for clipping further up bolts, higher up bolts uh, from the ground. If you are going abroad, um, they do actually sell a travel cap so you can actually take off the head entirely so that this doesn't get damaged in transit in your luggage um, and then put that somewhere safe and then to prevent that poking through your luggage or your suitcase they actually have a little travel cap you can get as well uh, which just screws onto the top so that obviously prevents any damage as a little key ring travel cap So for us, the things, the major things that set this apart from other clip sticks, so we've had other clip sticks in the past and some of them have worked um, better than others um, and some of them haven't actually done what they, they say they can do, i.e. taking quick draws out of bolts. And for us, the biggest game changer is that the Pongoose clip stick does actually take quick draws out of those bolts. So it means that we can go ahead and try routes that are at our limit clip the first few bolts, but know that if, if we can't make it, that we can retrieve them quite easily from the ground without having to commit to a full length of route of clip stipping something that is um, you know, just a waste of time and energy for us. Um, so that has been our number one game changer with the Pongoose clip stick. So a massive plus for us is that this thing actually clips uh, pretty much any bolt. Uh, it sounds silly, but we've had a lot of clip sticks in the past that we haven't actually been able to get the quick drawer into um, just because of the where the bolt has been. It's either been set back a little bit or it's at a funny angle. And this one, you can actually, other than just adjusting the head a little bit and tilting it, you can also adjust the direction the, the head sits at. So it means that pretty much any bolt will be accessible from a bolt that's kind of recessed back a bit, you know, uh, with a lump of rock in front of it, you can actually just adjust the head, adjust the angle slightly so that it can clip it that little bit more easily. And on top of that, it does actually, like, it keeps it, it keeps the carabiner locked in there really well. We've had instances with other, other clip sticks where the, the gate has snapped shut uh, while you're trying to clip the bolt, which is very frustrating. Uh, it takes sort of several attempts, but the way that this is held means that it's actually locked in there really, really well uh, and doesn't sort of unseat itself suddenly. The head itself has been designed to actually accommodate a really wide range of quick draws. So we, we're we working with the DMM Alphas um, and they sit in here really, really nicely. We've also actually used our trad rack our phantoms as well which are actually quite small and they also fit in here and also work very well so it doesn't matter what size your carabiners and your quick draws are they'll fit into the pongu's head um, and it takes a very broad range uh, of carabiners so we're big fans of a, a multifunctional item um, and the pongu's clip stick is one of those so you can actually take off the head completely. It's got a universal camera mount. You can then thread a GoPro, an action camera of some sort onto it. Pongoose have also brought out a compatible brush. So there's a brush with uh, one of the threads in it and then you can use that for brushing holes. And that's great, not just for working uh, the bottom moves of a sport route, but actually we can take this bouldering and we don't actually have to have a separate brush on a stick for that, we can just use this. So, and because it's attached to the adjustable neck, it means you can actually brush things at pretty much any angle from like you know, like a top of a sloper or something, to, or like a small crimp to sort of side pulls and 
flakes. But actually, if you wanted to use it just as a mono, as a monopod as well, the whole neck unscrews, and you've got a second camera mount uh, there as well. So if you wanted something bigger like a DSLR, you could use that uh, as a monopod instead. So the final thing that sets the Pongus clip stick apart from all the other clip sticks is its build quality and they've used very high quality high grade metals um, throughout pretty much all of all of the construction of this so it means that it's robust it's going to last a long time which when you're going to invest money in something you want it to last a long time um, so we're very happy with with how this feels and looks and, and actually it's really nice to work with we don't think any part of it is going to sort of break or snap off suddenly uh, unlike some of the other clip sticks that we have used and the guys at Pongoose have handcrafted and engineered the head and the neck themselves. Um, so this is all their own work and their own handiwork. The pole is made from you know, really robust materials and it doesn't actually bow and bend as much as um, other clip sticks that we have used. So when you have it fully extended, it doesn't actually sort of have that arcing effect, which makes it even harder to clip, clip, to clip drawers into. It stays, the Pongoose clip stick stays straight. So we've been loving using uh, the Pongoose clip stick. Um, it really is our favourite clip stick. Um, if you've got any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. Uh, alternatively, head over to the Pongoose website and um, check out their clip sticks, check out their range of products. Um, the link is in the description below, so go and check them out. Get yourself a Pongoose clip stick if you haven't already. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.